The exposed windy roads of Northern California took riders in the Amgen Tour of California to Modesto yesterday. It was a last chance for the sprinters, and as the field hit town, they were all together, some literally as chaos reigned. In the end, Greg Henderson won again for Team Sky. Today, he defends his lead in the most difficult stage so far. Stage four now tackles the dizzy heights of Mount Hamilton, and then a finish on the climb of Sierra Road near San Jose. The Amgen Tour of California continues next on Versi. Welcome to the Livermore Valley. It's not quite as well known as the famous wine Napa Valley, but it certainly is one of the biggest wine producing regions in California. It's where the riders set off today as they head now up into the Sierra Road and a first ever mountain top finish in the six years of this race. It is still cold, but thankfully there's no rain yet and there's certainly no snow. This is the biggest challenging day so far for the riders in the Amgen Tour of California. The crowd are ready and most of them have to walk or ride the bikes up here. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our coverage of the Amgen Tour of California presented by United Healthcare. I'm Phil Liggett. This is Paul Sherwin. And this is a very big day in the tour because we found the high mountains here. We're standing two and a half thousand feet above San Jose. Now, that doesn't sound particularly high, but they do that in about four miles of climbing, Paul. Yeah, for the, for the moment, Phil, we've had the hors d'oeuvres. This is the Plat de Résistance, the most important part of this race. And yes, it might be two and a half thousand feet here, but there's a lot of climbing for the riders to get here from Livermore because it really is a tough day. Four climbs on the route and Mount Hamilton peaks out at four and a half thousand feet. Yes, that comes to 25 miles to go. We'll see more of that in a moment. Yesterday, though, we had another sprint amongst the fast finishers. Uh, they're going to have to work a little bit harder. Let's have a look at the map now. This is what the riders will not want to see. It used to take a stagecoach one whole day to go from Livermore to San Jose. The riders will do it in just a few hours. They certainly will, but look at the route that they're taking this afternoon uh, down the San Antonio Valley Road, a couple of nasty climbs, and then past the Lick Observatory over Mount Hamilton, and that's the high spot of the day before the crucial climb to the finish just outside of San Jose up to the top of Sierra Road. Well, there's a view of the profile, steadily uphill all of the way today. I can tell you there is a breakaway gone. Tor Hushoft is in it, but they'll probably bring it back. Top out at Mount Hamilton, 25 miles from the finish at 4,000 feet. And, uh, and at the end there, we finish at 1,835. Yes, and we're still a little away from that climb. Let's have a look at what happened at the start in Livermore this morning. Three-time winner signing in to the Herbalife signing in is Levi Leipheimer. This is a big day for Levi. He'll want to punish the riders if he can. This is Dave Zabriskie, who's finished three times second in this event and would love to do better. Hincapi's won three stages and a fourth overall, and he's still smiling. And this is the overall leader, Greg Henderson, who is uh, going to be under pressure today. Now, sadly, was the, uh, was the funeral today of Walter Weyland in Ghent in Belgium who died in the Giro d'Italia uh, just uh, two weeks ago and his teammates in this race from Leopard Trek uh, joined in with the rest of the race for a moment's silence. And then they started their rollout uh, and the Leopard Trek boy taking the riders away in the neutralised zone from Livermore. And uh, they're bound now for San Jose, but not for the city on the flat. They've got to turn right in the city and climb up the Sierra Road, which really does kick up out of town. Um, only 2,000 feet to the summit, but very, very steep. And the club cyclists had a, a timed race on there this morning as well. 